Summit of the Americas is the only venue for heads of state and prime ministers uh, to get together, to discuss their issues, to set a new agenda, to reaffirm basic values. And that's what we'll see happening in Los Angeles. It's an opportunity for the leaders of the region to reaffirm certain common values, such as democracy, human rights, and open economies. Uh, and it's an opportunity to set a forward-looking agenda. And that's where the administration is struggling and we'll see what they come up with. But they hope to have something solid on uh, immigration. They hope to have something solid on economic prosperity, which groups together existing free trade agreements. They hope to have something solid on energy. And we'll all be watching to see how deep and profound these agreements are, whether other nations are really committed to implementation and what sort of resources are being marshaled uh, to achieve the, the lofty goals. The administration uh, decided to exclude Cuba, even though Cuba had been at the last two summits in Lima and in Panama. And it's ironic because it was Barack Obama uh, who decided to uh, shake hands with Raul Castro in Panama to the general acclaim uh, both in domestic US politics uh, and certainly in inter-American affairs. And the decision of the Biden administration to basically continue Trump's policies towards Cuba uh, created a huge problem uh, in the run up to this summit. The reason that the exclusion of Cuba is so damaging to the interests and image of the United States in inter-American affairs is that it is seen as a function of domestic politics. That is to say the Biden administration catering to some hardline Cuban exiles in South Florida driving US foreign policy. Lopez Obrador has said he will not be present in Los Angeles uh, unless the Cuban government is invited. So it looks like he's not going to show, but he will send his foreign minister, which actually is a plus because the foreign minister is a lot savvier when it comes to international affairs than President Lopez Obrador, who's a very savvy domestic politician, but is really quite unaware of international relations.